But that is it. The Texas Longhorns, with a shocking upset of Maryland, are headed to the Elite Eight. You know, now that Chloe and Katie are unfortunately technically no longer part of this team, I mean, what kind of fight do you think that they showed in their final game as it's hurt? Yeah, well, hopefully they'll both come back. I am so excited, to, you know, pinching myself actually when you talk about bringing your entire roster back for the upcoming season. I decided to come back to Maryland this season just because I felt like we had unfinished business after the tournament loss against Texas. And I just feel like this team has so much potential, so that's why I decided to come back. You think about everything we were able to accomplish last season and now bring the step and experience and comfort level unselfishness as a team to know where each other is at. So I'm excited to see how it all unfolds. It's a great day to be a Terp. Let the world know. My reaction when the whole team was coming back, I was very excited. Um, we get to run it back again. I know we fell short um, to the Sweet 16 of Texas, but um, that sour taste is still in our mouths and we just want to come back strong as a unit with everybody coming back. We want to get past the Sweet 16 and hopefully to a national championship. Just looking forward to next year. This past year we have, we, we played amazing together. Our connection was just great. So just really excited to be able to continue in those great strides to see what we can achieve as a team. Uh, we got some newbies coming in that we're really excited about. I was super excited because, you know, after the season ends, there's always this what if, if people are staying or where are people are going. It was opportunities for like Chloe and stuff like that to go to lead and stuff like that. So just to find out that everybody is staying gives me a huge confidence of what we could do for next season. What I love about today is we're one of the very first teams to get started. You think about on the East Coast, 11 a.m. tip, Nothing's given, everything's earned, go earn it, all right? The wait is just about over. The offense that had the most points per game of any in the country, largely thanks to Katie Benson, gets going, and Katie Benson gets going. Returning the entire team really, you know, gives us a leg up, I, I think, on the competition. I mean, there's the ability to really move through some things on the defensive end, on the offensive end, because this, this team is going to have been there and they know what it is. I'm excited about the veteran leadership when you talk about our juniors and, and senior class and everything they've gained in their time playing should give us a, a huge advantage of being ready to play early. And we're going to need that when you talk about our, our non-conference schedule that we've created is going to prepare us initially really well to see where we're at. It's a good start to the season for the number four ranked team in the country. You know, we love being able to have different bonding activities within our team. We have a very special tradition here at Maryland. We all have really special talents. Right? Uh, when we were born, we were given really special talents, so we want to hear from you. Oh! So you really fake this elbow. Come back with that we have a target on our back. Um, everyone knows what we're able to do last year. We were a little bit of underdogs and no one really knew what we were coming in. And um, so yeah, we just really have to take that mindset and it personal every day when we come into practice and we come into a game, you know. We're here to win and we're here to go one step further. As the Terps improve their record to 3-0. Oh, yeah, oh, our level of our standard has never changed. So just understanding that uh, we're going to hold ourselves to the highest level uh, you know, each and every day when we step out on the floor.
I think the way you capitalize on this talent is you continue to keep raising the bar. As the head coach, as the coaching staff, there's going to be things that we're going to continue to make this team uncomfortable. We're going to push them to heights uh, that they might not even know that are within themselves because we know what excellence looks like. We know what uh, this team is fully capable of. Uh, we know we were disappointed last March, and so we want to put them in as many different situations and challenges. It begins in our non-conference. Our conference will prepare us with all the talent and, and experience of the teams that are coming back. We love the challenge. We truly do. And we're playing the Maryland Standard, like Angel said, but we have a name for ourselves, too. Like, you got Angel Reese and you got Mimi Collins. I know you like to say Melissa Smith and Queen Ebo and all of them, but Maryland matters too, so it's like saying the Maryland name as well. But we love the Maryland Santa and we don't duck no bump either.